Alright guys, I apologize about that. We were ready to get into the game, but unfortunately there were some uh, issues as far as uh, teams understanding the, uh, I guess, the lack of officiality of community casters, right? Like, eh, so it, it is a little bit of a gray area, and so um, it's how it goes. Um, but yeah, so uh, that being said, the admins have been contacted. Things should be clear. If there's any more issues, I'll go ahead and say it on stream. Uh, please do contact the admins about this. Uh, there are uh, there, there are channels that us community casters have to go through to be officially sanctioned and be able to actually get into these games and cast them. So we uh, we can't get into the games without uh, actually being sanctioned and stuff. So you know, what, whatever it is, whatever it may be, uh, I just want to go ahead and get that uh, uh, cleared up in, the, in in that respect. So. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the title switched real quick, guys. Again, this is going to be Stopwatch Formula. Uh, the first attack is going to be the side of Overwatch Kings. Is, uh, they are going to be looking to set the time once again. I, I, I want to emphasize that if they feel like they're the better team, like I was saying earlier, that they definitely should be going on the offense first to set the time. So we're going to go ahead and introduce the defense first, as they should already be in uh, hero setup. They have the Tawambat going to be picking up the Mercy. Uh, Ranex is going to be picking up a McCree. We have Kleinek going to be picking up a Lucio. That leaves a Dragon's going to be picking up a, or Dragon's going to be picking a uh, Reinhardt. Over here on Kins, we have a Bastion. And of course, Nippler going to be picking up the Widowmaker. On the side of the offense, four Overwatch Kings. We have Tweety going to be picking up the Winston. Rib going to be on the Winston. Essel and Olba on their double Reaper. And Adetonia Mitra on their double Lucio. This reminds me of last week, guys. I remember watching these games over and over again. This is that aggressive double 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 comp that they love to run slightly different variation we're going to be following an sfc is pushing in using that double shotgun nipper doing what he can with that Widowmaker, trying to get the picks trying to stabilize for his team and actually give his team a chance but he's dropping down to five health and it looks like it's going to go down that's going to leave kins as one of the only left one of the only options left to defend for his team he's going to go ahead and push in and try to get any kills but he does get charged taken out and that's going to be a complete wipe overwatch kings is shoving forward three down and they are dominating it looks like the respawn is going to happen any second now as the offense or defense I apologize on the side of Mac activity is going to be looking to try to stabilize and get something going We're gonna go ahead and again switch over to nipper and they are going to try to push forward and uh, dominate and get, uh, get, get get some picks and stall up Overwatch Kings. They really do want to try to get as many as they can. If they can't pick them, then they won't be able to stall up at all. And this will be a pretty uh, pretty quick game. But Nipper going to be getting those tags. Going to be getting tagged up himself. And he's going to get chased down. Kill, killed by RYB uh, Rib. Sorry, forgive me. And we're going to be following Rib onto the uh, into the battlefield. Onto the next point. So uh, he's going to be going in. Look at that. Three-man Tesla Coil Cleave. Going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Does get Flashman. Gets taken out Dragons as well. So two kills down uh, for the side of the offense as they're pushing forward. And note how one of those kills is Wombat. There is no resurrection available for the side of the defense. As on the side of the offense, we have Adetonium going to be building up his. He's at 93%. We're going to go ahead and switch to free camera, guys, as this is going to get pretty hectic as we have Rib pushing in aggressively. And this is just an absolute uh, abs uh, absolute domination in some senses. Again, this is something that Overwatch Kings does really well, and it's something that I respect out of them. When they are ahead and when they are dominating their opponents, they get in their faces, they push up aggressively, they do everything they can to thoroughly dominate their opponents and make sure that there is no opportunity for the defensive team to ever set up and get momentum. Once they've secured this kind of tempo and momentum, they go back, check, get the checkpoint, and then they work again on the same thing over again. So we're going to go ahead and follow out old buddies. He's actually going in super aggressive. He's got a Death Blossom. He's going to be jumping down with this Death Blossom. Oh no! Two going down, three going down for Mac Activity, and Mac Activity is not having a good game right now as they are just getting uh, a little bit run over here as Overwatch Kings showing a, uh, a definite understanding of King's Row and how they like to play it. This is a strategy we've seen from them many a times. Tweety going to be switching over to the Reinhardt. He does have an Earth Shatter coming up in 3%, 4%. We'll see if he's going to be able to use it. It'll just be a second now, and there is going to be the uh, Dead Eye coming out from the side of SF. He's going to get a kill on Nipper. Dragons is going to go down to Mitcher, and now the charge coming out onto the Zarya. Kai Link is down, and they just have a Mercy up to defend this point. That's not going to be enough in 0 .6, oh, 0 0.06 meters. That's going to be a cap, and the official time will get in just a second, guys, but Overwatch Kings. Once again, showing their dominance and prowess in Overwatch. They really do know how to play this game. And, and, and I said this all throughout yesterday, and I'm going to emphasize it again today. The, the the thing about Overwatch is that uh, if you want to be if you want to be one of the best teams in the world, if you want to dominate, if you want to show that you are above the rest, 
the critical part of it is that you need to be aggressive. You need to dominate your opponents. You need to get in their faces. You need to never let them play their game. And when you do that, what you what you achieve is not a sense of immortality. I don't want to like explain it like that. Like, oh, if you're that aggressive, you know, Cloud Nine's never going to win a game. No, Cloud or lose a game. Cloud Nine will definitely lose games. Uh, and there will be a time here in the future where we will see Cloud Nine not be the number one team in the world. But as it stands right now, the most aggressive team in the world and the most successful team in the world are the same team, and that's Cloud Nine. And that's because when you play aggressively in competitive games and the opponents are weaker or they're not as skilled or they're not as experienced or they just don't have whatever it takes in in that argument or that respect to actually uh, uh, stand their ground against that kind of tempo, then what happens is you you basically remove their teeth, you remove their ability to fight back because, like we saw in that earlier game between Overwatch Kings and um and, and I'm sorry the name is forgetting me uh, uh I believe it was the the Rangers um. Nordic Rangers. There we go. Nordic Rangers, that game. The Nordic Rangers team was playing scared. They, they were afraid to push in. They were afraid to move forward. They were afraid to do uh, much of anything because they knew that Overwatch Kings was a better team. They knew that if they went in and they died, that Overwatch Kings would pounce aggressively and try to dominate everything they did. So... Uh, we'll see what happens here. We are going to have an interesting setup here. Is we are going to have uh, the side of uh, uh, Mac activity doing the 2 2 2 strat that we normally see out of Overwatch Kings. But first things first, Overwatch Kings got the title switched up. Tweety, the time to beat is going to be 2.39. They only need to defend for 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Will they be able to? As Mitrar is going to be on that Symmetra. I think. I don't know. This is kind of the joke of the day, right? Is Olba playing McCree? I don't know. He might be playing McCree, guys. Maybe seen him play Reaper once, and that was literally just a second ago, and he's been playing nothing but McCree. SF is going to be picking up the other McCree, and that leaves Adetonian on the Mercy with Rib picking up his, or uh, yeah, Rib picking up his Flex Junkrat. Over on the side of the offense, Mac activity, going to be taking a book out of uh, Overwatch King strategies, as they're going to be pulling the double, double, double Reaper. Ranix and Rakens, they have the double Lucio to Wombat and Cave Ky Kylink, and of course that leaves the double Winston as Nippler, Nippler and dragons niplar and dragons so we'll get the stopwatch started on time hopefully this guy this time as i'm watching the clock i have my button i'm ready to go we're gonna go ahead and follow out ranex and bam the stopwatch goes guys i think that's about as good as i could ever get ranex gonna be pushing in with his team they're going to be looking to uh get again the the, the way that overwatch kings plays yep there's the speed boost there's the pure aggression but ryb actually gonna be able to take out ranex and that's not good for the offense they're already gonna be down three they're already gonna be down four the offense, unfortunately, falling apart here. They ran into that uh, fire strike. They ran into that Junkrat spam. They lost three heroes off the bat. They they bled multiple heroes, and this was just an awkward situation. That's not what they needed at all. That's really not what they needed at all. And to get reset up here, they, they, they barely got any ult charge. The best hero to get ult charge right now is Ken. Ken's sitting on 23%, but he's going to get tagged up, and immediately there's going to be a switch. Kyolink goes immediately to Azaria. They know that if they're going to try to win this game, they need to go now. They're already down two minutes. Ken's going to be going for the flank. I don't know if uh, Overwatch Kings is strictly aware of this. I don't think that they are. No, they are. They Kins is going to end up going down. And now we have Tweety doing what he can. Getting a kill. Olba pushing in. Wombat trying to heal up his um, uh, Farah, but Farah's going to be too far in. Farah's going to get tagged up by the left clicks. Will he go down? There's going to be the right click fan onto to Wombat. Will McCree and our Riv be able to finish off this Mercy? And they will. That's going to be a Mercy down. That's going to be a minute down on the clock. And with a minute 39, a minute 29 remaining on the clock, guys, it's not going to be, uh, there's not going to be a big chance for Matt Mac to be to take this. In fact, I, I might be Will. Yeah, Kins is going to go ahead and call GG. And unfortunately, with that kind of early offense, there's just really no way that you're never, you're ever going to be able to win a game when the enemy team dominates you like that. Um, it's just so hard to, so hard to get a con con control of the offensive side when you know that you're only on two minutes and 39 seconds. You literally have to get non-stop aggression. You can't ever wipe. You have to stay as a team. And if at any point it ever goes poorly, then the game's just over. So again, uh, a good job by Overwatch Kings. And uh, setting a good time, time that's almost impossible to beat. We're going to go ahead and switch over here to SL. As, as FAC has the, uh, as the dead eye. Only one second remaining. Go ahead and cancel that. But, you know, don't, not to take anything away from Mac activity. They did they did play well on their defensive side, respectively, for the times that they got the hold. They had one or two wipes. There's going to be inner shatter on. Ken's uh, going to pick up a double kill himself, actually, though. Trying to do what he can. Nippler is going to switch over to that uh, Widowmakers. They're trying to do what they can. They're actually going to wipe Overwatch Kings as they are going to get the resurrection onto the side of the defense. And that's going to be... That is going to be um, uh, the first point here. But again, guys, it's uh, it's roughly irrelevant as, again, it is a stopwatch-based tar tournament, so there is no, uh, uh, what do you call it? There is no, um, there is no uh, point uh, after this game is, as, of course, once this game is 
Oh, that's actually going to be a full team wipe. They don't even lose the point. Forgive me for even saying anything, guys, in that respect. Uh, Akik to be not able to capture the point at the end of the day. Uh, two minutes remain if they'll actually be able to. They're going to go ahead and switch over to a tracer. But again, what I wanted to say is that um, Overwatch Kings... Or, uh, sorry, Mac Activity, they should definitely come back. They should definitely compete more. They have a, pro a promise as a team. They just need to practice more. They need to play more. And they need to they, they need to figure out how they're going to play Overwatch. It doesn't seem like they've really uh, found an identity. And that's fine. That's part of learning as a team. Is you have to uh, is you have to develop uh, strategies, mimic other teams, learn how they do it. And then uh, eventually you get to the level of Overwatch Kings. Mitra are going to go down over here to the spam of Ken's. As Ken's looking to push in. He does go down again. Our, uh, Rib also going down. Three down on the side of the defense. Two down on the side of the offense. We're going to be looking over here at Wombat. He's trying to heal up his teammates, keep that damage amp going, keep the opportunities for his team rolling. With a minute and 37 seconds remaining, we're just going to keep the stopwatch running, guys. But the official time is already over, as you can see. It's past 2 minutes and 39 seconds. And, uh... Kylank going to be pushing in with that left click. He's got the charge up. It's doing quite a bit of damage. Will he be able to take out? He did get Adetonian. As, uh... No, Adetonian... I am really confused there. Mitrar, I'm sorry. Adetonian is playing the, uh, as they have it switched up fighting uh, different heroes here and the offense is going to end up taking it. I'm sorry guys, normally you have Adetonian picking up the Mercy and Mitrar picking up the, uh, Lucio, but considering they had already won this game, I, I think it's going to be a situation where, um, they, uh, they, uh, they wanted to practice swapping up the supports to see how it goes. Um, uh, go lobby or just to win on players. Okay, and they will play it out, guys. So we'll go ahead and just commentate it for fun. Uh, we'll enjoy this game as uh, as I'll avoid any of the commentary for, 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 for how this series went down, why it went down, etc. As Kylink is going to be pushing forward. He's got that charge of 25 energy. And meanwhile, we got Rib, actually. He switched over to his uh, to, to do a Farah. Kylink trying to take out the... Uh, sorry, Reinhardt, as he does have the 25 charge looking to get onto the uh, Farah. We're going to switch over here to Rib, as Rib is going to be doing what he can with that Farah doing everything raining justice down from above he doesn't quite have the uh, ro uh, the rocket barrage yet but he does have a good shots will be able to dodge looks like so far from kins does survive at 7 hp and that's not what you wanted to be seeing if you are to the side of mac activity you really want to take down the seven health um farah if she gets alive and uh, out alive and she doesn't end up getting out alive she doesn't end up getting tagged up ken's gonna be helping be responsible for that with niplar and now niplar gonna be pushing forward with that Widowmaker, looking for some picks looking for some opportunities for his team will he be able to find them is the question and uh, with that right heart barrier protecting most of the support sound barrier going out for the side of the defense we're gonna go ahead and follow in onto tweety as he's pushing in aggressively he charged in he's trying to zone back the defense and there's uh, actually a pretty uh, it, it was a pretty good Graviton Surge. Uh, it gets capitalized on by Kins. Kins is going to be able to take out Tweety. And now Kins getting a double kill. Kins going to be able to take out multiple heroes as RYB as well. Going to be able to take out heroes. Ranix is, uh, is pushing forward. And, um, looks like the offense is going to be able to score here as, uh, Oba and team just having a little bit of fun here, switching it around. Adetonian going to be taking this opportunity to practice his, uh, his, uh, oh, Zenyatta. As he doesn't get to play it as much as he would like to, the hero's not that uh, exciting right now in the meta. It's really only good for countering Wombo combo, it seems. And he charged in on Rib. Rib does end up surviving as they had that Discord Orb to help take care of that healthy tank HP. Uh, tanks are very easy to take out when you have the Discord Orb 1.5% 1.5x uh, damage boost and Ranex on this Tracer trying to do what he can to get a pick or two, but just too many heroes in the area. Unfortunately, when you're Tracer, you want to be careful about taking those large skirmishes like that. Unless you're... Uh, on another level, and even when I say on another level, some of the pros couldn't even reach that level. You don't want to be taking a one on five. Um, but they are just playing for fun, so, uh, you know, grain of salt there, guys. So, we do have the uh, Reinhardt going to be pushing forward with that barrier coming from the Zarya. There is the uh, Deadeye. Does get pulled, but they're not going to do too much. As, uh, it looks like he only was able to take out the goons. Mitra are going to be taking out Gins, Tweety, taking out uh, Wombat, and now we have Nippler going to be getting taken down as well as Kylink by Olba and the side of the defense showing a little bit of life here is they're going to be able to stabilize in the foundry section and continue on. Um, but yeah, guys, again, uh, it was definitely a very strong showing out of Overwatch Kings. That's what you want to see out of them if you're a fan of them. If you're a fan of MAC activity, this high noon is not what you want to see. Olba going to be getting Wombat. 
Atatodian going to be taking out Goblins, and Ranix going to go down as well to the quick, clean left clicks out of Bulba. But yeah, if you're a fan of Mac Activity, don't uh, d d d d don't uh, feel too bad for them, as of course they do have more chances, there are plenty more tournaments, plenty more opportunities, practice, studying these films, learning what they did wrong and what they didn't hold properly against them. And, and again, I, I could even go to this step further, right, because they literally did the same strategy on the offense as Overwatch Kings, they can see what Overwatch Kings did differently and uh, emulate it in their next games. So here we go, Tweety pushing forward with his team, giving his team the space to spam onto the defense, offensive Reinhardt flashbang going out, Dragons is actually going to go down with that orb of Discord, and the flashbang, now Ken's going to go down as well, Graviton Surge in the background, but Aditonian's going to pop that Meditation, and that completely negates the Graviton Surge, no risk of that doing enough damage, there's a Resurrection coming out as Mercy dives in, but Die Noon is going to go out, Ranix is immediately going to get picked off, and that's going to be four kills on the side of the defense, and there is no offensive presence left to continue this push. As we will go ahead and reset here, guys, a little bit. Defense has a chance to get a uh, new hold as they are, are going to be picking away at that Zarya. There's another High Noon coming out this time. It's going to be from the side of SF. SF is going to get a kill RYB with two. Multiple side on the uh, multiple on the side of the offense going down. And Ken's actually going to get the Deadeye off onto Olba. Flashbang didn't quite connect. It was a little bit too far away for it to actually do anything. But uh, uh, Rib is going to go ahead and get those kills. Pushing back. Getting a quad kill on the Winston himself, actually. Uh, two before those. And then two... Uh, right then and there, uh, split by Tweety on the on the fifth kill. So good job coming out from the side of Overwatch Kings. Is they're going to clean up another offensive push from Mac Activity? Mac Activity really struggling to get their feet under them. Really struggling to do what they need to do to to, to get to get a cap here. And with this primal rage coming up for Riv, he is going to push in aggressively. He understands that there's almost no chance for him in dying. Eslaw with the kill, Adetoning with the kill. Ranek actually going to Ranek's going to be doing what he can with that rocket barrage, but it just doesn't do anything. And now. It looks like Kylink is going to go down to the right clicks of uh, a rib as well as a simple melee. And that's our team kill horn, guys, as we, again, are going to be seeing the end of this game any second now. 38 seconds remain. 35 seconds remain. Stopwatch is already... I should probably just go ahead and clear the stopwatch or pause it. Um, as a nine... As, as it will take over nine minutes for them to go ahead and complete the map as we do have... Uh, we do have the Winston in the background. Rib zoning still has that Primal Rage. Note that, guys. He doesn't have to completely run away with that Primal Rage. SF is going to get another kill. That's four down for the side of the offense, making it five as they are going to lose Kyle link and Ranix and now there's almost no hope literally no hope in a lot of ways they'd have to get overtime going they have to do a lot in this just last push and unfortunately i just don't think it's going to be possible out of the side of mac, mac activity they're not in a position to actually uh win this game they do get a good graviton surge at the end but that graviton surge ultimately is just not going to matter and gg well plays coming out of the both sides uh, uh great games again i want to say specifically uh, i don't want to harp at all mac activity they played uh decently well but what you know again if you're a fan of them or, or, or if you're them you do need to go back study these films see what uh, overwatch kings did better and, and and come back next week and you know keep trying keep doing better um they, they're definitely a team that has a lot of potential and could in the future be a team to beat or could be a team that makes it in uh, past the top 64. So congratulations to them making it to the top 64. But again, the story of the day is going to be Overwatch Kings. They are the terror of the bottom t half of the bracket. Graviton Surge and Like and a few other are going to be up at the top half and be the terror up there. But right now, guys, we're sticking with Overwatch Kings. We're going to be following them as they tear through the lower bracket. Um, again, thank you so much to ESL for letting me cast these games. At ESL Overwatch is their Twitter. Follow them there for tournament updates. At ESL underscore Overwatch watch is their Twitter twitch channel and of course at the end of this when the games are trying to funnel down to the last few games i will be hosting caldor as he is doing the mainstream for this tournament and us community casters are just trying to cover the extra games games for you guys so we get as many out there onto the internet as possible thank you so much for your time thank you so much for your viewership thank you so much for your support and guys uh you know if you if you want to check out any of my stuff Go down below, but uh, you should take the time to open up another tab and go to the ESL Twitter for Overwatch because that's more important, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll get you into the next game as soon as I have it available for you.